Hey everyone, today I'm going to be building the Little Armory M240G. Little Armory is a series of 112th scale military hardware uh, models, primarily weapons, but also scale models of other military equipment, including carrying cases and ammunition packs, and some military furniture. It's developed by Tommy Tech, a model making company. They also are in scale railroading as well. Uh, Tommy Tech developed this line to take advantage of the growing popularity in 112th scale models, 112th scale figures such as Figma, SH Figure Arts, and A Zone International, one, uh, Pico Nemo, and uh, Assault Lily dolls, and other 112th scale models such as Megami Device by Kota Fukio. So let's take a look at what's inside. here. As you see on the outside of the case is one of their very common things is a picture of a school girl uh, carrying a weapon. A lot of these are slice of life type of pictures as well doing you know going to class eating pokey or things like that along with the military uh, device on its own. On the back is shows a picture of the device gives a little explanation of what the weapon is and has pictures of the final assembled model. According to Wikipedia, the M240G was developed by a Belgian company and manufactured by a US company. It is now the standard machine gun for the United States military and all four of its branches. It's also been adopted by other companies or other countries for their um, militaries as well. There's an advertisement here. They show, as we can see, 112 scale um, assault lily dolls here, along with the weaponry. Here's the MG240, along with, I believe that is a um, M4. Uh, and this is advertising for Ock Garden, oh, 2014. So it's a little bit of a um, older advertisement. But it just shows you that it is, you know, these were developed to be in scale with various figures of, that are also in 112 scale that became popular around um, in the early 2010s. Here we have the instruction manual. It's pretty straightforward. Just a few pieces here, show how it's assembled, give an idea of what type of assembly tools you need. And here is the model itself. We've got black runner of the main body. Now the runner of the ammunition cartridge for the belt fed, a smaller ammunition cartridge. And it looks like we have uh, some belt fed machine gun bullets here as well. We have one that goes in ammunition cartridge, a full one. I haven't counted it, but it is supposed to be fed by 100 bullet um, belts. And then it looks like here's an additional belt that might come out of the might come out of the uh, cartridge or some other form there. All right, well, I'm gonna put it together and then show you once it's completed. It took about one hour to complete the model. As you can see. And it was a little more complicated than other little armory models that I've put together. So this one needed a lot more glue to put it together. I had to glue the main body as well as I had to glue the handle part piece here, which was totally fine, but it was a little more unexpected. I've done other little armory models that haven't needed to have any glue whatsoever. Uh, it can be disassembled partially, take the butt off of it, can remove the sight, can remove the cartridge case, which comes also with a little some bullets there. <laughs> And you can also remove the barrel here, which is also attached to the um, bipod. So it was a little bit tricky too. The trickiest part of the whole model was this little piece here that was really difficult. This little, the most difficult part of the model was this little piece here, which was really hard to enter into this little space. And I actually wound up um, dropping it on the floor a few times, so I almost lost it. Thankfully, I didn't. Also, this part was kind of tricky. I didn't quite understand it at first, how it was supposed to be put together. The model instructions weren't particularly helpful. 
in that. You can also pull this up so that you can could kind of wedge it open. I might put a little bit of um, clear nail polish here so that I can swivel it up and then you can go and you can oops and then you can go in and you can feed you can go in then you can go in and you can feed in your ammunition like that. As you can see, it can make a pretty good accessory for 1 12th scale figures. Here is an Azon International Pico Nemo doll, and she's holding on to the M240G. But it would work just as well for Figmas or SH figure arts or any other 1 12th scale models or figures. There we go, there we have it, the M240G. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.